The Subaru Technica International, or STI, is Subaru's motorsport division. It was created in 1988, but they didn't release the Subaru WRX STI until 1994. Hey, that was the year I was born. And the same year Lion King came out. That was a big year. The Blah Bye STI was released in the United States and was short-lived from 2004 to 2005. And then they wanted to give a facelift to that old pig. It featured a 300 horsepower, 2.5 liter, paired with a six speed manual transmission and bright pink STI logos all over. That kind of reminded me of like those Barbie uh, 24 volt, 12 volt power wheels. It has an original MSRP of just over 31 grand. That's like 9,717 quesaritos from Taco Place. Subaru man. It used to be known for its rally heritage and now it's known for vaping and redlining its rumbly exhaust at car meets. Today we sit down with an owner and have a good old chat. Driver to driver. Alright, so what's up guys? It's Dakota from Fitment Industries. Don't forget wheels, tires, and suspension. Today I am here with Matt. Matt and I go way, way back. Way back. Way back. Years and years and years. and It's really cool to see that you've changed your wheels from black to white in that time. And the car is still black. How many, yeah. how many cars has Dakota had since then? Uh, too many to count. <laughs> That's for sure. So how are you doing? Good. I'm doing really good. good. Glad to be here, guys. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So as I beat around the bush, how much did you pay for that sexually transmitted infection of the car scene? A whole $15,000. $15,000, huh? Mm -hmm. Not bad. How many miles are on when you bought it? 87. Thousand? Yeah, 87,000. Two owners. So you, that, you're a gambling man. I'd rather buy scratch offs than get a <laughs> Subaru with 87,000 miles. Oh, it bit my ass later. Hey, have you seen Subaru <laughs> Man? You know Subaru Man? Right. I hear you drive it a lot. I do. But you didn't drive it here. I did not. Oh. It's broken. Right. I broke it myself. <laughs> you broke it yourself? All right, we'll get into that. Uh, what made you go with the blob eye over like a bog eye or a hawk eye or a stink eye or a pink eye or any of that stuff? I like the look, honestly. I just like that whole chassis. I would have gone with a hawk eye, but blob was just my favorite. And quite honestly, it's what I could afford. Oh, gotcha. All right. Hawk eyes, add a nice eight grand to that. Now it's just a broke college True. kid, so True. no way. Yeah, because you bought it a while ago, right? 2011. 2011? Oof. So no bug eye though? You like the, the blob eye more than the bug eye? Oh yeah, no drive by, or is it drive by wire? No, you don't like bugs? Yep. All right, let's take a break from me and let's hear from our extremely loyal YouTube community. <laughs> QUNI asks, why'd you buy a Subi non-Evo? They sound better. Mm, I don't know about all that. I and mean, they sound like you can tell when it's a Subaru when yeah. they're running. I like the challenge. I wanted it to break a lot. That's, okay. That should have been in hindsight. That would have been so you bought a Subaru because you wanted to break it? Sure. Okay. All right, all right. Evilology MR says, sick ride. A little low for my taste, but sweet build nonetheless. That's a, that's a lot coming from an Evo owner. He says, discuss your drivetrain, specifically the clutch trans and transfer case. He's probably a little concerned about transfer case because he's an Evo guy. Right? Yeah, because Evo guy, <laughs> no. It's, it's just stock uh, ACT heavy duty uh, clutch. Any issues with it? No, it's, um, I guess I drive good, but. Well, see, I want to add more power, then I'll need a new one. And they're expensive. I forgot how much they were. Yeah. Nope. Lava is dying to know, how much have you spent and how much horsepower does it have? <laughs> too much for too little. <laughs> no, because I have wheel problems. I don't know. I, that car's probably got 20 grand in it or something. And I make like 360 horse over 400 foot pounds on E. But if I change turbo and clutch, that's, you know, mid upper fours. Did you say 20 grand? Yeah, new motor. Yeah, oh new motor, my. wheels. I mean, I spent four on the wheels, so That's I guess. That's a lot of Subaru math. You could have bought a whole other car. It probably had 400 horse. I wish sometimes I would have bought another car and had a lot <laughs> less headaches. <laughs> Let us know what you think about WRXs in the comment section below, and if you're looking for wheels, tires, suspension, check out fitmentindustries.com. Squaw wants to know, how do you feel about people putting STI wings on their WRXs? I mean, rock it if it's what makes you happy. I mean, don't put the badges and act like it's an STI. Why not? You're going to sit in there and you're going to be like, well, this interior is a lot cheaper than an <laughs> STI. That's true. And they have bad transmissions. Benjamin E. says, does the STI burn when you pee? Moving on. Caesar asks, <laughs> why so low? Wait, I got this one. If you're low, you drive slow. 
and then you don't blow. Super math. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> why'd you Why'd you make your car so low? I didn't intend to. Just kind of peer pressure. Accident. Peer pressure, kids. Don't do drugs. Drugs made you get low. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you remember? We did a road rally together. We did. You remember that? Yeah, we came Look. dead freaking last. Last place, baby. I thought we were doing good. <laughs> we got the new board. Maybe if we, we weren't in an SDI, we would have did better. You probably penalized us for being low. Yeah, that's oh, true. Cars. Hey, we did hit cow manure. That was great. Yeah, yeah you had poop all hey, over. You it. can't drive your car slow. Hey, I came out with cow manure all over me. That yeah. was great. Yeah, Photo man. Photographic evidence. That's true. It was a good time. We rubbed a lot and we hit cow sh I'd rephrase that one. So what do you all have done to this car? Uh, it's kind of typical for some people, but uh, built motor, uh, fuel upgrades, coil suspension. A lot of it is detail work. So I did a lot of work doing wire tuck, mm -hmm. battery relocation. I wanted to do stuff to the engine base. So my favorite thing is some people like interiors. Yeah. I like the stance. I like it simple. I wanted things with the good body lines. But my whole thing is I liked engine bays. I wanted to do where you don't have five different colors of yellow caps and things. I wanted to start color coding it and I started just going down this rabbit hole of taking things out, hiding it, and kind of making it its own piece so that when you pop the hood or take the hood off, it's its own element. Some people like the interiors and the outside. I have a hard time unless you're sitting in the car getting into interiors, so it's stock. But I like being able to walk over and seeing oh, all these mat matching pieces of hardware, all this color It's like purple, right? You got purple in there? Yep, purple and black. So the theme will be it's a black block now with stainless hardware everywhere. And then the candy purple has now gone into the piping and the shields. So. That'll look really good when So it the idea up. is to pop, and I got some lighting tricks for you too. So hopefully the whole thing will look like it glows in the dark in the night. Oh. So. it be like Batman. Do you think it's worth making the engine bay pretty if it's just going to blow up? Yeah, it's easier to take out. That's true, I guess. It looks good. It'll look but cool no. when it blows up. <laughs> but no. Uh, speaking of which, have you had any problems with the car? Plenty. Numerous issues with wiring with fuel and throttle sensors, bad coilover choices, bad tire choices. You should have used the gallery at FemMinistries.com. I would save a lot more money. <laughs> That's a play. So, but what you're telling me is you had a secret gem of the STI world, one that was reliable and great, and then you just destroyed it. Pretty much. My dad even told me not to. He says, "Oh yeah, this would be a good upgrade for you. Your, your second car. Keep it. Keep it alone and be a nice, you know, mature car to go to places, you know, job interviews, things like that." Little did I know. Nope. <laughs> Sounds like a smart man. I guess Pooter Man's uncle was right. With great power comes great responsibility. Good thing I don't have great power. Yeah, and he got shot too. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about the car and your least favorite thing about the car? The least favorite thing about the car is probably my trash rear fender work. It looks pretty on the outside, but inside it definitely could use some body help. But I remember back in the day, you're like you rubbing, you just got out of the car with a hammer, mm -hmm. and then you just sit there and you just pull her out, I and then we wouldn't with, rub for a little bit. Oh god, I've pulled it with a hammer, a pipe, uh, never did the phone book, it's just too thick, but I've I've tried it all. I used about to grind a baseball bat. No, okay. just because I don't. Just because I didn't have one. If I would have. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I did. I probably would have beat the car up other places. <laughs> yeah, smashed it. Right. Um, my favorite thing about the car was probably that I've just kept it as a story piece. Without the car, without without getting it, I probably would have made the connections with you. Mm -hmm. um, wouldn't have met my wife through it because I wouldn't have had the connections there. So I wouldn't be here without that car. I, I honestly don't know because okay. it kept me in Wisconsin partially. That's deep. Is it very deep. They keep you in Wisconsin because you couldn't drive it? Yep. <laughs> Do you ever wish, though, that you went with a different model of car? Or are you happy you went with it? Part of me was tempted to go into the, the Euro scene. I had a lot of friends with, like, the B5 uh, S4s and things. Mm -hmm. And then when I got into it, and the same with Evo, I was an Evo guy before I heard of Subaru. And then all parts of me thought, oh, the Audis are expensive to maintain. The Evos look cheap. Little did I know. You those look cheap, and you put twenty grand on the <laughs> SDI. Man, oh man. Do you have any advice for someone looking at getting a blob by STI? The only advice I say is just don't get one that someone beat up, and um, just buy quality parts and get a good tuner. Someone who can take care of the car. That's all it is. You can put cheesy parts, good parts. Your tuner doesn't know how to do anything. We know plenty of people in this state that had. A certain someone blow up a number of motors back in the day. I know a lot of people have blew up. I think everyone I know with a Subaru has a different motor in it than the factory one. It's all about the good tuna. <laughs> there you heard it. You heard it here first. <laughs> Get it tuned. All right, that about wraps it up.
Thanks for Matt coming on. Let us poke some fun as STI. And don't forget, wheels, tires, suspension at fitmentindustries.com. We'll see you later. I don't know what to do with my hands. Ta-ta. Bye.